Hello everyone, George here, and let's start up Five Nights at Freddy's again. Now it's actually been quite a long time since I last worked on this project. Between the HoloLens um, and, and some of the Path of Exile content I put out there, as well as the fact that uh, Vive and you know Oculus stuff that uh, may or may not have been posted yet, uh, I haven't touched this project in months. So let's go ahead and dive on in. And I got on a tangent where I was making a 3D printable cupcake for some reason. Okay, so the last thing I would have worked on was security room items underscore zero one, or the rough layout. Let's open up security, okay, Ooh. Let's go to uh, display, show all. We've got each of these pieces of paper, which were like child drawings. So I'm gonna have to write a note to myself to draw some childlike drawings or ask my kids to do it and put it up there instead. And of course we have these drawers. Now, very recently I received my Vive and I am incredibly interested in porting this game over to work with the Vive. And to do that, I'm gonna to need to start thinking about making some of these objects a little bit more interesting. That is like doors, drawers, excuse me, that can open up. Now let's hide this and hide this and take a look at this object right here. And as we can see, this drawer has no internal structure to it whatsoever. It was just meant to be um, a placeholder. Let's grab all this, hide it all out as well. Look at these drawers again. And it's the same drawer twi twice, so I'm gonna delete the one on the top. And let's solve these problems. Um, easiest way to do this is probably to heal this mesh on the top, add the cuts across it again, and then just extrude in and extrude down. So let's do that. So let's double click this, right click, and let's do fill hole. Now that the hole has been filled, I need to make some cuts on this object. So it looks like I have two cuts there, two cuts on the back, right click, hold down, insert edge loop tool. And I'm gonna do, uh, oh, sh really? Really? Maya, you're going to, how did you do that, Maya? Did you have, do you have Verdi? Hmm. Okay, we're going to use multi-cut. I'm used to Maya completely screwing stuff up like that. Oh, you know why? It's because I use the fill hole command instead of the bridge command. When you use the bridge command to do this, you have to go back in and re-add the detail, but it seems like Maya is smart enough with the fill hole command to internally understand the uh, topology of the mesh, in this case, and my intentions. So I'm going to remember to do that from here on out in the future. Fill hole instead of bridge. So let's go ahead and extrude this. Uh, I don't need the options menu, and actually now I need to be scared because I might have actually done an extrusion. So let's do extrude face. Uh, let's do, if I do world and I select the center and scale that in, I should have good proportions. Okay, hit the G key to repeat that command. Go ahead and push this down, but not so far down that I go through the entire mesh. Let's go to x-ray mode, come on the side of this object and make sure things look okay. There we are. Let's go to shading x-ray. And uh, proportions look pretty good. Uh, display show will bring back all the geometry again. I'll take this drawer. We might as well name this drawer or desk drawer. Desk drawer underscore zero two. Maybe I should say lower. Lower and upper. So let's see there. Okay, and we'll call this drawer lower. What was this one called? Drawer lower, drawer upper. Upper. Okay, save that on out. Uh, the pivots suck for these. Um, so I'm probably going to want to modify, center those pivots. So here we are, here's my reference material. So we're gonna zoom on by. So we've got our two drawers here. We've got a cobweb, and then of course we have some speakers. The cobweb uh, is just gonna end up being a plane. So let's go ahead and create that plane. Uh, plane tool, there we are. Uh, the plane has no need to have this many subdivisions. So we're gonna crank them on down. Let's make them maybe five. You know what? Let's not curve this spider web. Let's just, let's make it no subdivisions. Okay, so bring it on in, place it there, move it down a wee bit, and let's just go ahead, right click, go to edge mode, move this up, move it to the top, uh, bottom I mean, grab this one, move it to the bottom of the floor, grab both sides, and we can just, it's a pretty narrow spider web. I'm gonna make some artistic interpretations here. We are going to push this back a wee bit, and I'm probably gonna then push the speaker back as well. Let's grab this one, move it over, put it there, grab this one right here, and I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna change this. I'm actually gonna make this so that it is between the speaker and the wall, because to me, that makes a hell of a lot more sense. Let's go back to the reference material and take a look at that speaker. So the speaker has these inserts. It looks like it has two. We've got two speakers right there. Um, instead of making this mesh more complicated than it needs to be, I should probably use a cylinder. So let's go grab a cylinder and shrink this on down. Uh, let's add a few more faces to it. There we go. 
Moving on up. Now, uh, the cylinder itself is going to need more caps. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is make this thing a little bit, eh, let's align it. So hit F8, make sure I grab it. Let's file, save, scene as, let's make this a new one. Uh, let's align the back of this thing to the speaker itself. So let's go to modify, let's do snap together. So we're gonna pick the back side of this and we're gonna pick that speaker right there. There we go. And now that we have that uh, now rotated in place, we can scale this on down. Take another look at that reference. So it looks like I'm gonna have two of these guys. And this the guy should probably now have an edge loop. No, please, let's go back to that. F8 again, thank you. Right click and bring up the options menu, multiple, and bring it down to one, bring it in the center so I have some reference to work with. Now let's move this over in local mode, scale this sucker down a wee bit, like something like that, and let's go ahead and move the pivot now to the back end of this object and place it up against this one right here. Okay, good. Now I've got to make the, uh, the actual speaker. So the speaker itself has a sort of inset area and uh, let's, yeah, let's just grab that edge. Oh, hmm. How do I want to do this? So if I grab that edge, right click, and I do a bevel, and I give it maybe two, three, three segments, yeah, three is good. And now I can grab this inner loop and bring that one down and in. Whoops, let's also, uh, gra let's go to vertex mode. Or let's, uh, let's do this, right click, grow selection, and move this guy in eight please thank you w and scale this one oh, let's actually duplicate it first move it on down to there and then let's take this one and scale it down a bit now that's probably too small yeah they're closer in size but this one should probably be much larger and we'll do something like this now that i have that done though the speaker now seems too tall so we're going to take the tops of this and just move it ever so slightly down there we go. Okay, speaker's done. I can probably delete that edge if I want to, but it's really not hurting anyone at the moment. So we'll go with it. The bottom of the speaker, though, is that in the floor? Let's see. Grab the bottom parts, hit W, move it up, and yes, it was below the floor. Okay, there we are. So now we've got our speaker. We've got our potential future cobweb, uh, which is going to be connected all throughout here. That's a really awkward size. I'm going to have to think about that one. You know what? I am getting bored of working on this room. Let's jump into something else. So let's save this and let's go ahead and do a file. You know what? Nothing is named in here, is it? All right. Mm, we got to do that whole naming crap, don't we? So let's grab uh, all of these guys up here and unselect that. Go to my naming tool, rename, and let's call these uh, fan art underscore zero one enter. And that should have renamed everything. It's Pro, uh, pretty good, I guess. Yeah, it's good enough. And let's grab all of these television sets now. And actually, reference material, please. Is there two? Is that is that just extra wide under that? It looks like it's extra wide under the cupcake. So let's just grab this one then. Scale it on wide. Put it under there. Save it. And let's go with selecting all of these guys and calling this now uh, monitors underscore zero one. Enter save. And let's call this thing, uh, let's just call it VCR, something like that. Uh, poster, poster, and drawer one, drawer two. Uh, these desk elements can probably be combined. I'm guessing I'm gonna need to do that anyway in the future. So let's combine all them together. Let's go to edit, delete all by type as well, save. Grab the desk, call this just desk. Uh, speaker, the speakers can all be combined as well. Okay, you're no only gonna see that front part, right? So I don't need to worry about the back part. So we can just bevel maybe this bit here back there. So let's bevel it. Uh, the fractional amount needs to be very low. Um, 0 0.05 maybe. And let's do, th let's go with three segments. Uh, okay, so we got speaker and web. That's not a good character. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's it, right? Because everything else in this room, this entire room itself can be deleted because these are the only assets that are coming into the other room. So let's now go, let's do it, edit, delete all by type again, history, save, window, outliner, double check our stuff here and make sure nothing's really bad. Everything looks named properly. Security room is a group. We can probably get rid of that group now. Save that group out. So I grab everything now and group it. And group it and call uh, security room items. 
probably. It's probably a good idea. Oh, edit, delete all by type, history. Let's go to create, uh, modify, freeze transforms, turn or rotation off, apply, hit up again, make sure it's all good, all good. File, open scene. Let's take a look at, okay, so here's our, our room. Let's go to file, import, and it's gonna use namespaces. And that might be a good thing at this point. So let's go to import, security room items too. And there we go, they're inside of our scene like we want. Perfect. So now we should be able to do a, oh, this thing can be hidden. This can, excuse me, Maya, go away. Thank you. Now we should be able to grab everything in the scene, save it on out. Ooh, the party tables. We gotta bring in those party tables, right? So let's do that really quick. Let's go ahead and nuke the existing stuff and go to file, import, and where's my party table? Oh, okay, brought it to the origin. Did I group this stuff? No, I didn't. Damn. All right. Uh, let's get. Let's hide stuff. Hi. I should probably start using layers at this point. Up. Oh, hide. Go in here. Oh, go up. Let's delete all that stuff. Save. Let's go to file. Open scene. Let's jump back into the party hats. Oh, let's take a look at our outliner. I should always take a look at things. Oh, wow. Okay. We've got some bad stuff going on here. Let's get rid of piece cylinder. Don't know what that is. Let's go to the poly surface, frame on up on that. I guess that's just the table itself um, without a good name. Let's open it up. Clothin, let's call it, let's just call it party table. I know that name is already used, but let's go to the actual party table and call this party table structure. And there we go. Edit, delete all by type. Grab all of these elements here and move them under this transform. Hit up, we should now have every item in the scene. That's good. Edit, delete, all by type, history, save, modify, freeze transforms. I'm gonna freeze their scale. File, open scene. Let's go back to the rough floor layout now and uh, display, show all. Actually, you know what? No, let's not do that. Let's, let us hide everything. And let's go to file, import. Oh, not export, file, import. And let's grab the party hats, yay. Okay, up, display, show all. Now we got our hats, let's move them into our room. So let's use the top view for this one. And what was it? I think I said it's something like uh, six of these, right? Uh, let's hide you, you and you get grabbed, we hit up, we do, let's do a shift D, move it to yay, shift D. Display, show all. Not bad. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. I like the placement. It's good enough for me. Okay, file save. And let's take a look. Uh, let's get off the wireframe on shaded off. File, save as. Let's save this as a new increment. We're going to do this as three. Uh, let's see. We're going to take that door and hide that on out. Let's grab everything in the scene really quick. Go to file. Let's send this to Unity. Uh, selection. Uh, FBX, let's call this building, yes. So let's jump on over to Unity and see what's actually happening. There we go, uh, wrong, where's my scene? Uh, what was, let's go building test 01. Hey, check that out. Okay, so we've got all the different items and Unity's doing its, doing its great job there of rendering everything with good lighting. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And uh, we got our party tables. So let's go ahead and take a look over here. And of course, they're being lit creepily at the moment. There is a light in the scene, right? Yeah, this little one up here. I gotta make that still. Oh, so many assets to create. You done there? Thank you, Maya. All right, move this up just ever so slightly. Maybe a wee bit back. Yeah, something like that. All right, so I think we're gonna end it there with this video. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to comment below if you have any suggestions or any feedback. See you later. Bye.